Hello world and welcome back to another video. So this video is top tips for software engineers in 2020. So I originally had a couple ideas for this video and some of my tips were like go get a LinkedIn, find your niche, learn React, but it was very, very, very generic. So what I actually did was I looked at my year in 2019, all my accomplishments, all my mistakes that I learned from. Okay, y'all, I am currently taking a break because all of the code is failing. And from that, I formed these tips. The first tip I have for software engineers in 2020 is to learn how you learn. So I actually got this tip from a Google engineer. I was at one of their brunches. And at first I didn't understand what they meant by this tip. But after thinking about my year in 2019, I totally get it. As you guys know, I attended a front end bootcamp. I even made a video about it. I will link it at the top. And the experience was horrible for me. Y'all, I'm stressed. I am so stressed. I'm getting acne again like man I'm just I hated the boot camp completely 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 hated it for me the boot camp was embarrassing because the instructor were teaching so many different topics like that and for me I had never seen react before so I was just struggling to keep up so when the instructor was teaching like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, I was fine because I had seen JavaScript and all that before. But when he got into React, oh my goodness. I remember being so, feeling so down. And the thing is, today, as you guys know, I code in React like every day. However, the problem with the bootcamp is that that's just not how I learn. So, for example, he would teach topics really fast. I'm the type of person who likes to really analyze and dissect and really understand why something is the way it is. So that was one of the th reasons why it didn't work. Also, I'm the type of person that I need to learn a topic first on my own. Then I can go to a group. Then I can go to like a teacher or a professor. And that's just the way I learn. I can't learn new topics in group settings. And that's totally fine. The way I learn is through writing stuff down. Um, yeah, and then here's also one of my journals I have from the front end boot camp. We have information about JavaScript, React, CSS, you know, the works. As you guys know, I love to journal. Video on journaling coming soon. I know I promise this all the time, but it is coming soon. And that's just the way I learn, and that is perfectly perfectly okay. So now I know in 2020, I need to keep this up. I need to continue to learn how I learn because, of course, I want to continue to learn new things. So let's say there is a boot camp in the future that I find interesting and I want to go to. Best believe I'm going to like study all the topics ahead of time and come into the boot camp with that mentality because it will work if the boot camp can work to like fill in the gaps instead of like teaching me something that is completely new. So yeah, so the first tip I have is to learn how you learn. So the second tip I have for software engineers in 2020 is to just surround yourself with good people and not just that, but to also get a sponsor. So what a sponsor is, is someone that is higher up. So for example, I'm a software engineer one. So a sponsor could be a principal engineer, a manager, a director, someone that's higher up that has your best interests will go to bat for you and also understand your interests and some experiences that you might want to do. So for example, I was thinking about all the different opportunities I had this year from going to Atlanta for a diversity initiative to attending Grace Hopper and Afrotech. To also being a Girls Who Code mentor. I taught sessions on Git, 
to newcomers coming to our company. I gave a tech talk on React Hooks. I have done so much this year. A company skit, like so random, but I have done this and I thought about each opportunity and each opportunity I got wasn't because someone sent a mass email out and I just applied. It was always because someone sent me this opportunity. They saw this opportunity, thought it was a great fit for me, and they sent it to me. And I think that's so crazy to think about because it's all about forming good relationship with people. And I had or have a sponsor. However, I didn't really, oh, loud noise. However, I didn't really keep up that relationship and that's something I want to do better in 2020 just because I want more opportunities. However, I need to keep up these great relationships so they will think of me when these next opportunities come. So my advice would be to get a sponsor and also surround yourself with good people. Like, and these people can be both engineers and non-engineers. So for example, I have gotten opportunities from non-engineers for engineering and non-engineering roles, if that makes sense. So just make sure you're surrounding yourself with good people. And honestly, if there's a bad seed in the group, then you need to just be like, uh-uh, swerve, swerve. Okay, so the next tip I have for software engineers in 2020, and this one is actually my favorite one, is to like, let's just go out and dominate and build things. Like, I am so extra with this, but I think tech and coding is crazy. We really have the ability to build things and things that people can use and we can change our culture, change society. We can make startups. It is so insane to me. So like I even sometimes call this a gift. I know, whatever. Well, the first reason why I love coding is because I feel empowered. If I have an idea and I wanna make an app or a website, in order to fulfill that idea, I can do it. All I need is my laptop and I'm unstoppable. Like it's insane. So I just wanna say like, if you see there's a problem or maybe talk to your friends and see what problems they have, partner up with people and let's build things. If any of you guys who are subscribed or are watching this video have built something, let me know in the comments below. I will try out your stuff. I will buy it. If it's not that expensive and I like I am all about supporting other people especially like smaller businesses or companies because it's hard out here you know what I'm saying so I just want to say like let's use our knowledge and our skills to build great transformative products that can either help people or solve a problem that's currently out there and I'm also gonna be trying to work on a passion project myself. I have a couple ideas in mind. So you guys keep me honest, you know? As the months go on, be like, hey, how's your passion project going? Any progress? Let me try it out. Let's motivate each other on this. We are so creative as human beings and we can really go out and just, you know, I'm just excited. I'm so giddy about this. Let's build things. Let's build great things. Okay, so this next tip I actually got from someone at my job and I love it so much. And it's, so the tip is get comfortable with making people uncomfortable. I am a very ambitious person and that's just in my soul, in my blood, in my personality. I'm always shooting for the moon. Well, right now I'm a software engineer one and one of my goals is to move up, you know? I don't wanna be a software engineer one forever. So I got this advice for someone, but like, it doesn't matter what position you currently are, but make sure you're super clear with however your process is, like what does that process look like? So for example, a conversation I just had with my manager are like, what are my metrics for success? So I asked her like, what does it mean to be a software engineer to at my company and also in your eyes and then after she told me that i told her can you please give me feedback on where i'm at now and what i need to do so that when it's time to move up i am there and i think sometimes people don't like 
having conversations like this because before I was asking questions like, how am I doing? And everyone would be like, great, you're doing great. However, when I changed the question to what makes me not at the next level, that's when people's answers started to change. And I think you have to get really comfortable with just asking people like, what am I doing wrong? Like legit sitting there and looking at people until you get feedback. Because people don't like to give negative feedback, you know? They don't want to be that person. However, we have to get really, really specific with the questions we're asking just so there's no surprises later. And I think this is an important lesson I learned in 2019, and I'm definitely going to take this into 2020. You know, three months, so my manager told me things I need to work on. Three months later, I'm going to ask her, like, okay, I feel like I've worked on this, that, and that. Where do you feel like I stand now? And for the next three months, what can I work on? You know, do you still think I need to work on the same things? And I think it's great to give feedback. The great thing about feedback is that you can know where the other person stands and where the other person is at. And you know, what I also like about feedback is you don't always have to take what they say into account, but it's good to know like where they stand, if that makes sense. Because you know, you know what you're thinking, but you might not know what the other person is thinking. So yeah, so I would say if you haven't had this conversation with whoever's in charge or your manager, ask them, what are my metrics for success? Like, clearly say this question, write it down, and then part two for the question is, where do you see me? And, you know, they might try to flip the question like, oh, in your opinion, where do you see yourself? So, of course, like, after, as they're giving you the metrics, kind of start to gauge where you're at, but get their opinion by the end of it. And I think this will really set you up for success in 2020. Okay, so my last tip, even though I actually had 10 tips originally when I was about to film this video, but I didn't want it to be too long. So let me know if you actually want to like hear the other tips I have and I'll make a part two. I'm trying to decide which one to go with because I have two that almost made the top five. Okay, I'm going to say the last tip I have is to... Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with the other one to just go for it because I'm over here being indecisive. So the last tip I have for software engineers in 2020 is to just do it. I was talking to one of my friends and you know how I just mentioned how I did a presentation on React Hooks. So the way this presentation worked is three people give a tech talk on any topic they want. And one of my friends was also chosen to be a part of one of these three people but he said no and the reason why he said no is he said that he felt like he didn't have enough to talk about and we've been working at the company for the same amount of time so i say like when an opportunity comes your way say yes figure it out later like legit i'm the type to buy concert tickets not know how the hell i'm gonna get there but you know, you, you just figure it out. You figure it out along the way and just go for these opportunities because you don't know if another one's gonna come a knocking. And I just think that in 2020, you know, people are calling it the year of clear vision. And I just love that so much. But like, you know, you know what you like or even if you don't, if you are just even a little bit interested in an opportunity go for it and even if you find out you don't like it it's like that's great you learn something about yourself or you like you can check something off the list so yeah in 2020 we are we are going after our passions we are achieving greatness and we are going to do great in this world let me know which tip you like the best or uh, let me know if you didn't like any tips. I mean, some of them might seem very like no brainers. However, this is my journey and this is what I learned in 2019. So I'm just sharing that with you guys. And yeah, like I said, if you want me to share the other tips that are in this book that I didn't share, just let me know. And yeah, guys, like I say this and like, I've been saying this in all my recent videos in December, but I am really, really excited for 2020. 
like the content, the live streams, the interviews, all these great ideas that I have in my head, they are going to come to reality in 2020. I enjoy this YouTube channel so much. So thank you guys for rocking with me. I like that I get to document my journey, share my stories with you. I actually have a love for editing as well that I have found because of this channel. So thank you so much. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, have a great day, y'all.